Now I know what you're thinking. Launching a product on Amazon, isn't Amazon very saturated? Well, fear not, because in this video, I'm gonna give you the three-step guide to launching your products successfully on Amazon. And trust me, you've never heard these tips before. Now picture this, you've got an epic product, a product that's gonna revolutionize the world. You launch it on Amazon and nothing happens, zero sales. If you're worried that this is gonna happen to you, make sure that you watch the video and I'm gonna give you three main things to follow step by step in order to ensure that your product launches successfully on Amazon. Starting with number one, the right category. On Amazon, there are multiple subcategories for you to choose from. Sometimes even for the same product, you can have up to five different subcategories to add your products under. Now, ensuring that you choose the correct subcategory can definitely help you succeed on Amazon. Why is the subcategory so important? Well, basically choosing the right subcategory will index your product correctly on Amazon, making it so much easier for customers to find you and making it easier for Amazon to rank your product on the first page. And number two, choosing the correct subcategory can help you better get the best seller badge. So you can have a better chance of getting this incredible badge that will help you get a lot of sales. How do you choose the right subcategory you might think? Now let's say you wanted to sell men's shoes. As you can see here in Amazon's catalog, there are multiple subcategories for men's shoes and you might be selling very versatile shoes that can work under road running, shoes running, Oxfords, maybe Nordic walking shoes, so many different categories. What is the best way to choose the subcategory? Well, it's simply by doing research. Log into the subcategory of your choice and check the best sellers. As you can see, the number one best seller for this subcategory, which is men's classic and fashion sneakers under the athletic and outdoor shoe, is the Jack and Jones uh, shoe selling at 81 dirhams with 3,900 reviews. Second best, third best, check out the top five or top 10 and see whether or not you with your product can compete against these sellers. You want to see whether you can compete and you also want to make sure that your product fits into the same type of shoes and the same type of category. Now we're still at the first tip, but one very important thing also to master is to ensure that you add the correct search terms or keywords into your listing. You can do that manually by logging in to the subcategory that you have selected, choose the best five sellers as an example, look at all of their keywords and add those keywords into your listing or you can use a tool like Cerebro from Helium 10. Let me show you. To find out the best performing keywords you can use Helium 10 with its special feature called Cerebro. By the way if you still haven't subscribed to Helium 10 make sure that you use our discount code on the screen right now so that you can get 20% discount for the next months. You could also find the link in the description box of this video. So once you have decided to add the top uh, ASINs that you are competing against, you can add up to 10 different ASINs of the best performing sellers rather, and then you can just click on get keywords. So as you can see here, Cerebro has filtered over 1,471 keywords. That's a lot of keywords. I would also recommend that you always click on the search volume so that you can have it highest to lowest. Now that we've done so, we've got all of those keywords. Some of them are exact keywords and some of them are long tail keywords. Now, after you've seen all of these keywords, you should divide them into exact keywords and long tail keywords. This is an example of a long tail keyword. And this is an example of an exact keyword. Depending on what you are selling, how competitive it is, you might want to start ranking for the long tail keywords, maybe because they are less competitive. Maybe if you run ads under those keywords, you're not gonna have to spend a lot of money. And then move on to the exact keywords, which obviously have a lot of search volume, a very high search volume, or you might do the opposite. This is very much dependent on what you are selling and definitely very dependent on your budget and your strategy to sell the product on Amazon. Now hold on, do you know that you can reach out to the seller's society, us, for help with your Amazon business? All you need to do is log into your Amazon Seller Central, scroll down to the apps and services menu, and click on explore services. Once you do so, choose the service that you like, find us, click, and just contact us. 
or you can simply just click the link in the description box of this video. Number two, pricing. Now, definitely when you launch a brand new product on Amazon that doesn't have any reviews, you need to be competitive with the price to get as many people to purchase your product as possible. One thing that you need to do is you need to ensure that you know how much it costs you fee wise to sell on Amazon so that you can technically know how much you can sell the product for or how much you should be selling the product for. But roughly speaking, if you were to sell this men's wallet with shipping and everything, let's say you got it for 25 dirhams from China all the way over to Amazon UAE, you want to be selling it at 70 dirhams as an example. Now at launch, you can't launch it at 70 dirhams because it's just too high, especially that you have no reviews. And the main thing that you want when you launch a product on Amazon is you want people to purchase your product so that you can get organically ranked. So this is the flow of how customers log into Amazon. So they log into Amazon, they type in whatever search term or product they're looking for, and they got a lot of information. First of all, normally the first uh, listings that pop up are all sponsored, which means those are advertised listings. However, if you look underneath those, you'll find that the products all are great. However, some of them have a lot of reviews. So you want to be one of those sellers. But in order to be organically ranked on Amazon, the main thing is you need to get sales. Now, how those sales come, it doesn't matter if they come from ads or if they come organically. But Amazon decides to put these products because of sales. So in order for you to start generating sales, you will need to advertise so that your product shows up on the top of the first page. And so you can start getting sales. Once you start getting sales, Amazon will start pushing your rank organically and then you'll show up on the page without having to do any ads that's why pricing and deciding on the right pricing strategy in the very beginning of your launch is very important because the lower the price the more customers are going to be interested in purchasing your product now with that being said i'm not suggesting that you sell the products at an incredibly low price you need to know your metrics and you need to know what prices you'll be able to sell the product for while maintaining some form of profitability now what i would suggest is that you do your calculations choose what is the lowest possible selling price that you can sell that product for launch it at this price and every week increase the selling price by 5%, not more than 5%. So slowly, slowly keep increasing the price as long as you have sales. If you don't get any sales, then don't increase the selling price. Wait until you start generating sales before you start increasing the selling price. And finally, tip number three, stalk your competitors. Yes, you could actually check on your competitors' reviews to understand what things you need to be highlighting in your listing and what things you need to be probably avoiding in adding into your listing. One very cool feature from Helium 10 is that it just quantifies all of the reviews of your potential competitors and it gives you all of the main words. What are the positives? What are the negatives? Let me show you. One really cool feature from Helium 10 is the review insights feature. It just basically compiles all of the reviews from a listing and just makes it much easier for us to look at all of those reviews, including how many ratings, reviews, review analysis, all of that, and what are the top phrases that are being used. You can go through everything and you can figure out what unique features in your product to highlight in case a lot of people are saying, I like this, I like that. Let's say a lot of people are saying they love rubber sole because it's it grips. So you could add that to a product if you're selling and you can highlight that feature because it seems people really like it. Now, definitely, I'm sure you've seen this trick before where a lot of people say, you know, you could read the reviews in order to figure out what changes to make to your product. That's great but you can also read the reviews if you want to know what to highlight in your product listings. Now that you have a three-step plan, make sure that you follow all of these steps. Even if you are currently selling on Amazon, it's not too late. I'll see you in another video with more information. Bye.